Hey y'all, welcome back to Santino Sunday Cigar Review. This week we're going to be doing the San Latino, Connecticut, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Santino's Sunday Cigar Review. I'm Mike, this is Maddie. We're gonna review a, an old school cigar, San Latino, Connecticut by A.J. Fernandez. Um, we're just being a little retro today. Um, I, went, I was in Miami about three weeks ago to visit Omar Fernandez and uh, Frankie Santos. And look, what can I tell you? Two of the most stand-up guys in the business. Uh, we'll talk about that a little later. But, uh, you know, we know AJ's top of his game right now. He's come out with some great products for not only himself but a lot of other manufacturers. But look, the guy, he may be the face of the business, but the guys who make the business work is Omar and Frankie. So I'm in at his first third, as you can see. I'm not going to go into all the, the usual uh, details of reviews that people do. Look, the quality of construction, everything is what you expect from a premium cigar. You can you can see that nice gray ash that's holding up very well for people who um, like to, um, you know, smoke a cigar and hold the ash. So in this, this, uh, we'll jump right into the review. Yeah. Maddie, what I, and I haven't smoked this cigar in ages up until just now. Mm -hmm. um, what I like about it is it was a little deceiving. You know, you, you've got that Connecticut wrapper. Um, but it's not a mild cigar. It's more of a medium, I would even say, a, a, a medium to a light, heavy cigar. Yeah. With really cool notes of, um, you know, subtle sweetness and some spice. Uh, it does not, and, and I want you to get into this maybe in the next segment. Yeah. But I'll, I'll, you know, I would say it, it's, it's quite different than the... Uh, the New World, Connecticut, and like I said, we'll get into that later, but stay tuned. I'm going to take one of the first band off and start getting ready to get into that second third. Stay tuned. So, welcome back, y'all. Uh, while Mike's smoking a little bit further into this, I'm going to go into the construction and characteristics of the cigar a little bit more in depth. So, on the uh, wrapper of it, we have an Ecuadorian Connecticut, and on the binder of it, it's a Honduran binder, and it has Nicaraguan and Dominican fillers to it. So that means that overall this cigar is going to be a little bit more on the mild smooth side but it's still going to have that kick from that Nicaraguan filler and as I'm sure Mike just talked about with it, he's experiencing that same exact thing. Uh, from what I've read and everything like that, people really enjoy this cigar for like an all day cigar or a breakfast cigar even. So like say you're out on a fishing trip and you don't want to smoke like three Maduros in one sitting because that'll be way too much. This is a great cigar to smoke all day, so that way you don't have to worry about getting any of the shakes or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I tell you what, I, what I'm really enjoying in the second third is, you know, when you when you say AJ Fernandez cigars, you know, you, you think automatically that that pepper and spice that, mm -hmm. that he's known for. But this is a, this is this is different, and I'm not going to try to, you know, I can. I retro inhale and I'll do it on the show here on this cigar and I'm not going to try to tell you that that key note I'm, I'm not going to be that cigar snob what you get out of this cigar I think which is interesting is you get a complex plethora of light spices okay let's not get all tangled up on trying to figure out what they are but it, it's kind of neat it tingles on your, on your tongue and it's just a it, the whole San Latino line is you know is, is a is a staple for him. Yeah. But this is a very interesting cigar because it gives you that flavor, that complexity, but that very interesting melody of spice mm -hmm. that's different than I think the New World Connecticut, which is a more bold up front, which is what you know people like about his stuff. Yeah. So. Um, I can't wait to get into the, take this band off and get into the last third. Mm -hmm. 
So, uh, want to add anything else? Maybe uh, what's yeah. the price point of this cigar? So, I was going to do two things. Okay. So, the price point of this cigar is both uh, sizes of the stick here at Santino's are in the $7 range, which is a really good price for a stick, and honestly, it's even below that $8 to $12 range that we always talk about on this show. And the other thing is that AJ also has another Connecticut, and it's the New World Connecticut. And it has a lot of that pepper and spice that AJ is really well known for, even though that's actually considered a more mild cigar than what you're smoking right now. It, it's just really kind of cool how yeah. all that blending's done, because you, you can, wouldn't expect yeah. that. And you get that Toro and Robusto, like you said, in the store here for in the $7 range, yeah. both sizes. And, and that's, you know, that this might be, before we segue into to the last third, mm -hmm. and that's kind of what I want to say is about what AJ makes and how they price their whole line. Look, there's going to be people out there that say Padron's the best cigar in the world, Fuente, this and that, LFD, you name them all. Mm -hmm. The difference that stands out 100% that knocks you right in the face is any of his cigars will stand up to anybody else's cigars, but for a significantly less cost. You don't have to smoke a 20 or $30 cigar you know, to get a quality cigar. And I'll stand behind that for as long as I'm in this business. They price their stuff correctly for the everyday smoker. And this is not um, a, 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 anything in their line that is not a budget cigar. I mean, it's a budget cigar in the sense of the price, but it's you don't miss any quality. Yeah. Folks, you don't have to pay the high price of these other brands just because of the name of the company. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 they're just solid, and they did a great marketing strategy for pricing their product. Yeah, they did. So, all right, stay tuned. I'm going to get into the last third, and we'll wrap this up with some pros and cons. All right, welcome back, everyone. All right, so I'm in my final third, and I just want to wrap up um, how the cigar is going. The, the, everything is still just rock solid. It's mellowed a little bit, which I really enjoy. You still get the flavor, and you, you still you still get those uh, complex spices, but it's uh, it's really kind of mellowed into a finishing on a high note. Look, a couple of things. You know, what would you pair this with? Mm -hmm. Possibly, it, it it's morning time here, so it, it's going well with a cup of coffee. Although I wish I had a cup of Cuban coffee to go with this. Yeah. Um, I'm going to kind of jump into so we're going to do something a little different as, as we as we go on this year. We're going to do some pros and cons. So, Maddie, I'm going to kind of throw it over to you, and then I'll add my, my input. Yeah, so a big pro of this cigar is that it's great for the all-day smoke. Like, you're not going to break the bank with that all-day smoke, and it's just going to be really good for that. The con is, is that if you smoke really light cigars, you're gonna probably pick this up thinking, oh, it's a Connecticut, it'll be fine. And then you're probably gonna not like this cigar at all. It just it depends on what's gonna happen with this cigar on whether or not, what's your pros and cons for this? You know, obviously we, we, we touched on this in an earlier segment, the pro is the price point. A possible con would be somebody walks in the humidor and sees this cigar in the $7 range and maybe they dismiss it thinking, Oh, you know, I want a higher end cigar, a nicer cigar. And, you know, that's where we come in as retailers and tobacconists. And, you know, we educate the consumer and let them know that this is kind of what we specialize in. You, once again, you don't have to spend the money on the big name brands. And let me tell you something, AJ's a big name brand mm -hmm. um, to get a quality, enjoyable smoke. So, um, unfortunately or fortunately... You know, I, I can't find a con, and you know me, uh, if, if I don't like something or even an aspect about the cigar, I'll be honest to the audience, we don't, we're not here to, uh, to um, you, know, um, you know, schmooze everybody and make all the vendors and all the, all the people in the industry, you know, give them platitudes if it, if it doesn't apply. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you that honest um, sort of blue collar review. Yeah. So... Um, like I said, uh, very enjoyable. It, it, it's it's a win in a lot of categories. Maddie, why don't you wrap us up? All right. 
So uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Uh, make sure you check out our website, see if uh, what's happening. We've got events uh, probably coming down the pipeline here soon. Uh, check out our Facebook page, all the whole nine yards. And, 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 and Omar and Frankie, thanks for the hospitality a few weeks ago. Folks, if you're ever down in uh, my, the Miami area, they're in Doral, Florida, call. They're really accommodating on even short notice. They'll get you in, let you see the warehouse. Um, they're good guys, and they'll take care of you. Remember, at Santino's, we drink. We smoke, and, and we, we know, know things. things. Have fun, y'all.